Squile. Good day, students and staff of Sir James Douglas Elementary School. My name is Andrea Fritz, and I am a Coast Salish artist from the Lyaxon First Nation. But some of you may know me as Parker Atkins' mom. Last school year, most of you participated in a mural project. Today, we get to see the whole process of creating that mural. The first step was for you to listen to three Coast Salish tales. These stories included Raven Steals the Light, I Don't Know, also known as Thucky and Thomas, as well as Smoy, Spall, and the Red Snow. You also had an opportunity at that time to practice some Coast Salish art. Next, it was time to build a Coast Salish house front for the mural to be painted onto. The plank house is a small version of the kind of house that my Coast Salish ancestors would build out of cedar planks and live in year-round. While I was building the plank house front, the students voted for which story they wanted to have painted on the house front. The majority of the students picked... Smoy, Spall, and the Red Snow! This is a story where Smoy, the young deer, wanted to, wanted to trade some of his berries with Spall, the greedy raven. Instead of asking for a trade, Smoy decided to trick Spall by turning his berries into tasty red snow. Greedy raven took as much red snow as he could and tossed out the dried salmon that he had saved for the cold winter days. Once the snow was inside of Spall's house, it all melted and washed him out of his home. Now that Spall was wet, cold, and had no food, Smoy offered to help. Smoy shared the dried salmon he had scooped up from Spall, his good friend. But neither of them had any berries left. Huh. Now that I knew the subject of the mural, I was able to start creating a design. I knew I wanted to create a round design to mimic a spindle whirl, as they are another tradition of my people. A spindle whirl is a small wooden disc with a long stick through the middle of it. They were used to help make wool and were often decorated with Coast Salish art. The artwork on, sp on a spindle whirl would spin while the wool was made and would look mesmerizing. After crafting a basic design by hand on graph paper, I transferred it to the computer to, f to do some final tweaks and to add some color. Once I had a design that I knew would be easily visible from up on the side of your school, I just needed to transfer it to the wood of the plank house. I used a grid to help me know where to put all of the design elements. My grid was made of the straight lines of the planks, as well as strings that I had strung vertically on the wood. I had to measure ten and a half inches between each string. As you can see, this was done on a chilly day in the fall of this school year. I now needed to test out different types of paint to see what would look best on the wood. I left the test wood pieces out in the weather for three weeks to see what might happen to the paint. They survive well. While the paint was being tested, I started putting down a base coat of white gesso so that the paint would stick better and the red paint would also be more visible. Now that I knew which paints to use, I was ready to start painting. This was the funnest part of the project and took many sessions to add all the layers of paint needed for the design. I also had to move indoors, as the weather was getting too cold to hold my paintbrush. I finished the painting by spring and was ready to add wood seal to the mural to help it last longer. This was needed to protect the wood from the cold and wet that we have here in our rainforest region. The wood got darker and shinier, and it really showed the beautiful grain. Finally, our mural was done! As you can see, our Coast Salish plank house is only half of a house front. 
the area at the bottom right is where the door would be. The planks would have been tied to the vertical supports that you can see, and the roof would have been held down with the weight of large stones. That is our Coast Salish Plank House, and I hope you will enjoy it. I would like to say Hai Tsepka, which means thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you for listening and participating in Coast Salish art and culture. I really enjoyed sharing my knowledge with all of you, and I hope that we can continue to learn together in the years to come. Heewe, goodbye. <laughs>